We had a great creativity session earlier on this week based down in a manufacturing organisation down in Somerset that I thought was worthy of sharing. And I'm simply going to call it Dog and Flowers for reasons that will hopefully emerge. Um, we were exploring organisational issues using technique called storyboarding, which involves cartooning and drawing, which is always good fun. Uh, the first stage of the process is to pick a complex metaphor that could be used to represent the organisation in some way. And in this particular circumstance, we hit upon railways. Uh, and the question that needs to be addressed is, if the organisation was a railway, what would that railway look like today? And that's the topic that needed to be drawn. Um, it was interesting because what invariably emerges in these circumstances and recognising that we picked this particular problem because there were issues that needed to be addressed in the organisation, what was drawn was somewhat of a rail crash, to be frank. Um, the second part of the process is the key element that then follows because the question is, if this were a perfect railway, what would that then look like? And the team needed to put that sketch together to represent that. And of course, this was a beautifully organised railway with a fat controller and lots of communication. And there was a particular detail kind of sat in the railway station that was represented there. There was a dog lurking around to welcome people and there was a flower pot um, generally to make the place look lovely and welcoming and all those good things, which is kind of interesting because for uh, what might be a fairly dirty environment, uh, the dog and the flowers seemed to transform the whole feeling. Now, there were lots of other things that were happening in the background that were of more profound importance from a business point of view in terms of structure and all those good things. But we spent a fair bit of time just exploring the dog and flowers and started to have a good laugh about it. Before we knew it, we were thinking of a pub uh, called the dog and flowers, which, again, kind of makes you smile. It's kind of welcoming again. Uh, and that then transformed the thought that, well, maybe we ought to have a look at developing a pub on site within the manufacturing facility, maybe symbolically, if not in fact, something that would make you smile. Curiously enough, there's a brewery or a microbrewery relatively down the road. So having a pint of dog and flowers was not entirely unreasonable uh, within the manufacturing organisation. The interesting thing was I left the organisation, travelled back home, and within six hours I'd received an email from the managing director who had already designed the pub sign for the dog and flowers, uh, with the intention of putting it, putting it up in the entrance to the factory to create some sort of a welcoming uh, feel, which would undoubtedly make any visitor smile. Uh, well, actually make any visitor somewhat inquisitive, I dare say, but certainly any employee as they came in would gently be reminded of the fact that the intention is to have fun while at work. Uh, and it would remind them of the creativity process that took place, which was rather cool, I thought, and worth sharing.